Hey guys, Zeleno here from playtoearn.net. For today's video, we'll be looking at a couple of blockchain games that offer a passive income model for its players. The games on this list allow players to play to earn when they want, but also allow players to generate income passively, usually by renting out their extra NFTs. So without further ado, here are 5 play to earn games with passive income models. To start off our list, we have Axie Infinity. Axie Infinity is a PvP card battling game built on Ethereum and their own network called Ronin. In Axie Infinity, players collect creatures called Axies, raise and breed them, form teams of Axies, and fight it out with other players for a chance at rewards. A lot of you watching might already know what Axie Infinity is, since it is one of the most well-known blockchain games as of now. The main game mode of Axie Infinity is the PvP card battling, where players use their Axies in teams of 3 to fight with other players, or in PvE adventure mode. During combat, players use cards to make their Axies do actions, like attacking and healing. The first player to eliminate the other player's Axie team wins the match. Each Axie is unique and has its own stats, body parts, and class. The stats are HP, Morale, Skill, and Speed. To determine these stats, an Axie's body parts come into play. The different body parts are eyes, ears, horn, mouth, back, and tail. The horns, mouths, back, and tail also determine which cards an Axie can use in fights, or the moves that are available to them. Axies also have classes, or similar to types in Pokemon. Classes have strengths and weaknesses depending on the class they are facing. The classes are Beast, Aquatic, Plant, Bug, Bird, Reptile, Mech, Dawn, and Dusk. When breeding Axies, the parent's characteristics will determine what traits the offspring will have. By playing the game, players can earn SLP, or Smooth Love Potion, the game's utility token. This can be used when breeding new Axies, or sold on exchanges for other cryptocurrencies. To start playing and earning in the game, a player will need 3 Axies. This is where the potential passive income is. For players who own a lot of Axies but don't have time to play, they can just rent these out to other players who have time and then they split the profits. If you want to try the game out, you can check their website. The next game on our list is also one that's been around for some time, and that is Splinterlands. Splinterlands is a collectible card game that lets players buy and sell digital cards as NFTs and also fight other players with the cards they have. Since it is a trading card game, if you've played games like Yu-Gi-Oh! or Hearthstone, then this might be familiar to you. The cards have 4 rarities. These are Common, Rare, Epic, and Legendary. There are more than 500 unique cards in the game that players can buy, sell, trade, and use. You start by choosing a summoner which can give bonuses to the cards you use. Next, you build a deck based on a mana limit that you have to play around with. The stronger the card, the higher the mana cost. Each match will have random mana limits, so you can have a variety of decks ready. Similar to other card games, cards here also have stats like speed, attack, and health. And some cards also have abilities that come with them. They also have elements like fire and nature that also play a role in the match. And the positioning of your cards is also important. You want tankier units in front while your damage dealers survive at the back. At the start of each match, you have a certain time to fix your deck and arrange your cards. And once that time is over, the fight begins and happens automatically. If you win, you earn Dark Energy Crystal, the main currency of the game. You can also earn DEC by doing daily quests and for seasonal rewards. DEC is used for buying, selling, and renting cards. If you have too many cards than you can handle, you can always rent them out to other players so they can use it and split earnings with you. This is where the potential passive income comes from. If you want to try out the game, you can visit their website. If you're enjoying this list so far, you can check out our website at playtoearn.net. We have different categories you can search from so you can actually find what you're looking for. Now let's get back to the video. The next game on our list is Pigaxi. Pigaxi is a play to earn PvP style horse racing game built on the Polygon network. In Pigaxi, players use their horses called Pegas and compete with other players in races in the hopes of finishing top 3 and earning rewards. Pegas are the main NFTs of the game and are the NFTs used in racing tournaments. Pegas come in different bloodlines which also determine how rare they are. The different bloodlines are Hose, Kampona, Klin, and Zan. Hawes is the rarest and represented by the lightning symbol, and Zan being the most common with the air symbol. There are two even rarer categories of Pega, which are the Founding Pega and Crown Pega. The Founding Pega are the first 5,000 minted NFTs in the collection, while Crown Pegas are evolved using the rare Fabled Tokens. Only 722 Fabled Tokens are in supply. Pegas can also be equipped with gear, like headwear, kneewear, or chestwear to boost their stats. But certain gear may also have negative effects. For example, if you use a chest plate that adds 1% strength, the chest plate will remove 1% in speed or fire. They can also be fed certain food to boost stats. The gameplay is pretty straightforward. Players use their horses to race with other players, and if their horse finishes top 3, they get rewards in Viz, the game's utility token. The race happens automatically and no skill is required from the player. 
The passive income model comes from renting out extra unused Pegas. If players have too many Pegas and not enough time to race them, they can rent it out to other players who want to race and split the profits. The game has a built-in rental system so players with no NFTs can easily play for free, with a profit-sharing model determined by the NFT owner, either fixed rental, profit share, or direct rental for guilds. If you want to try the game, you can check their website. According to their roadmap, the first skill-based gameplay mode is expected in Q3 of 2022. The next game on our list is Metagear. Metagear is a PvP game where players use robots they own to fight with other players and see which robot is better, built on the Binance Smart Chain. The players are the inventors, so their imagination is the limit when it comes to building the robots they make, which are also the NFTs. The gameplay is pretty straightforward. Players have to assemble the robot they want to use to fight. They choose the chassis, wheels, weapons, and gadgets. These parts will determine how effective your tank is during the fight. With the wide choices for these parts, the possibilities are endless. When you're all set, you just click Find Match and search for an opponent. The fight happens automatically and you just have to hope the way you constructed your robot is better than how your enemy did it. There is an HP bar at the top and the first one to get to zero loses the match. The one who survives wins and has a chance to earn rewards. The three game modes are Campaign, Quick Fight, and Tournament. Campaign is a PvE mode where you fight through stages and have a chance to earn blueprints if you maintain a high rank. Blueprints are the most valuable assets you can earn in the game as it is used to create new Genesis machines and parts to upgrade your existing ones. Quick fights are the PvP match where you can form a squad of 3 people and fight it out. The team with the last surviving member wins. And tournaments are a more intense version of PvP. The blueprints and parts you win can also be sold on the marketplace for their token called Gear. The passive income potential comes from players renting out their spare robot parts to others. Players can lease their extra NFTs on the marketplace by setting a rental price and duration. Once other players rent it, the owner earns passively. Once other players rent it, the owner earns passively. The game can be played on browsers and Android phones. All you have to do is register an account with your email. And the last game on our list is Thetan Arena. Thetan Arena is an eSport game based on blockchain technology. It is built on the Binance Smart Chain. In Thetan Arena, you can gather your friends, form a team, and fight with others for a chance at rewards. Thetan Arena's gameplay is designed to maximize both your skills and teamwork. The game features various game modes. The first one is the Battle Royale mode. In Battle Royale, players can go solo or with a friend to be the last one standing. A match can have up to 42 players or 21 duos. There's also a Deathmatch mode where teams rack up kills, and a Superstar mode which is kinda like their version of Capture the Flag. And the last mode is Tower Destroy mode which plays like traditional MOBAs like League of Legends or Dota 2, where players destroy towers and get to the enemy's base before they do the same. By playing the game, you can earn Thetan coin, which is the main currency. It can be used to trade on exchanges or buy Thetan boxes in-game. On the other hand, Thetan gem is the governance token of the game used for staking and governance, and can be earned in tournaments, special events, and marketplace sales. Players can also earn NFT items while playing, which they can sell on the marketplace for money. The game also has a hero rental feature where players can rent out their extra hero NFTs to others who want to play for free. In Hero Rental, owners can set their heroes up for rent on the marketplace and renters will spend an amount of THC for rented heroes' temporary ownership alongside with other benefits. This is where the potential passive income is. The game is live now if you want to check it out. You can play on Android, iOS, or PC. And that's a wrap for today's list of games. If you were looking for games you could play but also have potential passive income models, I hope this list helped you out. Which game on this list would you play? Let me know in the comments. And for more info on everything about blockchain games, you can check out our website at playtoearn.net, where we have the largest database of games that have all the info you need. That's it for today, see you next video!